Michael Bisping believes that Sean Strickland will have a significant advantage over Paulo Costa at UFC 302, primarily due to his cardio and fighting style. Bisping highlighted Strickland's economic style and ability to maintain pace over five rounds, contrasting it with Costa's explosive but energy-draining approach. While acknowledging Costa's formidable punching power, Bisping emphasized Strickland's boxing skills and his past victory over Israel Adesanya as evidence of his capability. Bisping mentioned that Strickland's style revolves around utilizing the jab effectively, which could pose problems for Costa, who tends to come forward aggressively. Bisping said this. That is a crazy fight, okay? Paolo Costa hits harder, I'm telling you right now. I've trained with Sean Strickland. He's got very good boxing, we know that. We saw that when he beat Israel Adesanya, the best performance of his career, almost finished him in the first round, right? He will go out there. He will fight close, but his style is behind the jab. Paolo Costa is going to come forward a lot. I think Paolo Costa hits harder, but I think Sean has an advantage with the cardio. Let's remember, this is a five-round co-main event. That is a significant advantage for Sean Strickland because he has an economic style. Paolo Costa swings with everything he has, spinning wheel kicks, left high kicks that are just so fast and explosive, but they require a lot of energy. In summary, Bisping predicts that Strickland's cardio and technical boxing will give him an edge over Costa, particularly in a longer five-round fight where stamina becomes crucial. It seems like there's some heated back and forth between Ilya Topuria and Max Holloway, sparked by Holloway's comments before UFC 300 and escalated after Holloway's victory over Justin Gaethje for the BMF title. Topuria responded to Holloway's remarks by suggesting he would only fight him if the BMF title was on the line. Holloway, in turn, dismissed Topuria's stipulation, calling it uncharacteristic of the BMF spirit. This led to Topuria firing back, asserting his dominance and implying that he holds the power to decide the terms of their potential bout. Topuria said this. The only thing questionable about me is whether I finish you by knockout or submission. I just beat the guy that beat you not once, not twice, but three times. You now have the one thing that keeps you relevant and that would grant you a money fight, the BMF belt. I no longer fight for money but for legacy. Winning that belt while holding my title will cement me as the first. The first to hold both belts. The first to knock out Volk and what most certainly will happen when we fight, the first one to put you to sleep. Something to calm you down is this, God doesn't shame anyone. You will have a worthy defeat against a champion who will be remembered for eternity. I decide who, when, and where. If you don't like the terms I'm sure Ortega will oblige. Topuria emphasized his confidence in his abilities, citing his victory over a fighter who had beaten Holloway multiple times. He also mentioned his aspirations for legacy over money, suggesting that defeating Holloway would solidify his place in MMA history. Despite Topuria's reluctance to grant Holloway the next title shot, many fans are eager to see the matchup unfold. Given Holloway's impressive performance at UFC 300, a potential bout between the two promises to be highly anticipated, with the build-up likely to be fueled by intense trash talk, as already witnessed. Michael Chandler is acutely aware of the significance of his upcoming fight against Conor McGregor at UFC 303 given the long wait and anticipation surrounding their clash. Despite the uncertainties and doubts that arose during the wait, Chandler is confident that McGregor will indeed show up for the fight on June 29th. Acknowledging McGregor's penchant for showmanship and trolling, Chandler believes that once McGregor signs the contract, he will honor his commitment and step into the octagon. Chandler feels that McGregor's return after three years, especially following a devastating leg injury, adds to the intrigue and stakes of the bout. 
Chandler emphasizes the importance of this fight, describing it as a can't-miss moment in combat sports. He believes that the outcome will determine McGregor's future trajectory in the sport, whether it be a triumphant return or a potential swan song. Chandler is prepared to deliver a dominant performance and possibly hasten McGregor's exit from the sport, not out of ill will but as a reflection of the realities of high-level competition. He recognizes that a loss to McGregor, who has been inactive for three years, would be detrimental to his own career and is determined to emerge victorious. The fight carries immense pressure for both fighters, with Chandler feeling the weight of expectations and the need to prove himself against a formidable opponent like McGregor. He sees this bout as a pivotal moment in his career and is fully committed to seizing the opportunity to assert his dominance in the lightweight division. It seems like there was a bit of drama surrounding the revelation of the headliner for Misfits Boxing 15 on May 25. L. Brooke expressed her displeasure about the leak, comparing it to finding out she was pregnant before she knew herself. She clarified that she's not pregnant, but she was frustrated by the premature disclosure of the information. Paige said this. It's really, really exciting. Gloves on, it's just straight boxing. I did think my next fight would be a bare-knuckle boxing match, but this opportunity came forward, and I was just like F it, let's go. So I took a fight. The headliner bout will feature L. Brooke facing off against Paige. She had teased her boxing debut earlier in the year but hadn't disclosed any details regarding the date or her opponent until now. She seemed enthusiastic about the opportunity, indicating her willingness to transition from mixed martial arts to boxing and embracing the challenge with excitement. The tension between Bilal Muhammad and Leon Edwards seems to be escalating as they edge closer to a potential showdown in the octagon. Muhammad's frustration stems from what he perceives as Edwards and his team's attempts to downplay his accomplishments and avoid facing him. Muhammad expressed his strong dislike for Edwards, fueled by what he sees as disrespect and attempts to undermine his worthiness as a title challenger. He compared his feelings toward Edwards to his previous bout with Sean Brady, where there was similar animosity due to trash talk and perceived arrogance. The prospect of facing Edwards has provided Muhammad with extra motivation, contrasting with his previous opponents whom he described as nice guys. He emphasized that his focus has been solely on preparing to face Edwards for the past two years, and he is determined to prove his worth by defeating him decisively. Bilal said this. I hate his guts. The last fighter that I fought that I had dislike for was Sean Brady, and that was just because he was talking all this trash, and one of those things where I'm like, bro, I don't even know you but you're acting like you're something else. With the Leon fight, they're trying to avoid me. Him trying to downplay my accomplishments and telling me I don't deserve it, I never earned it. That does nothing but piss me off but it's fueling me with hatred for this guy and I just can't wait to get in there and get my hands on him. My last four, five fights, have been against guys that were so nice. Damian Maya, Wonderboy, Luke, they're all nice guys. Obviously, getting extra motivation to fight guys that you dislike, it's easier to wake up every day. For Leon Edwards, I've been training for this guy for two years. My prime focus has been on him, I haven't been thinking about anyone but him. When I go in there and walk through him, he's going to go back to irrelevancy and no one's going to think about him anymore. Their potential matchup could take place at UFC 304 in Manchester later this summer, alongside other anticipated bouts on the card. The build-up to this fight is expected to be intense, with Muhammad's animosity toward Edwards adding a darker tone to the pre-fight promotion.